transparent. Yes, I can. Yeah, I can hear you, Lang. Aaron. Yeah. I can't hear Aaron. No. Testing, testing, check one, check two, sibilance, sibilance. Uh, check one, two, two. Hello, one, two, check, check. Yes. Yes. Half of whose body is the question? <laughs> Get body. The average. The average body. Let's. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Paxamania pre, pre, pre show. Is it three pre's? I think we're. Three sounds good. Three sounds good. The yeah. pre, pre, pre show. Uh, I am your host, uh, a Pax wrestling video game promoter. Somehow, Aaron Schreitz. Uh, I am joined by the venerable Pat Bear. I'm here in the bear cave with Aaron. We're in the bear cave, apparently. Uh, and with our reigning champion, Samantha Coleman. Hello, How are you doing, hello. Samantha? Thank you for allowing uh, me to grace you with my presence. Oh, no, we're happy, I'm happy privileged to, be here. Privilege to have you nice. here. Uh, so, uh, so while we're here on the floor at Pax East at the Iron Galaxy booth, um, apparently a sponsor uh, of, uh, of Pax Mania 2, um, we thought that we'd take an opportunity to fill everyone in on what's been going on, catch everyone up on the story, uh, who's feuding with who, um, and, uh, and kind of give everyone a glimpse of, of what's to come. How does that sound to you, Absolutely. Samantha? You know, there's been a lot that's happened. Yep. It's really hard to just walk into uh, the, the video game wrestling world. Oh, yeah. Just We're two years deep turkey, on Storyline so there's lots, there's lots to uh, cover, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, Pat, you uh, you run the Upright Citizens Brigade, um, uh, the, the UCB uh, comedy wrestling there. Uh, yes. Uh, UCBW out of uh, New York City, the Upright Citizens Brigade. It's uh, comedy wrestling. Uh, we don't do play any video games, but we do... About as much nonsense as you'll find at, uh, at Pax Mania 2. Yeah. So this, this is a little bit of a refresher for us as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been several months since our last show. Uh, so we'd, we would t we're taking the opportunity to, uh, to make sure that Pat doesn't get his wires crossed between the comedy wrestling and the video game wrestling. Uh, and uh, mostly to catch Samantha up to speed because you weren't at... Southern Slam. Um, you know, I had a nasty hangover that weekend. Yeah. I just, you know, I just needed a little time to myself. Um, Understandable. Um, yeah, it was nice. I got to watch the stream um, from home. I uh, got to see, you know, uh, a lot of friends competing with uh, with each other for the number one contender. For to, a shot to at your title, on, yeah. You know? So that was, like, that was fine, yeah. We should say what Southern Slam was uh, for those that aren't paying attention and weren't following along that... Uh, I just assume that everyone, of course, knows. I know, I know. But every once in a while, someone comes up in the street and he goes, hey, I'm so excited to be at the Bear Cave. I just want to know uh, what was pe what was uh, Southern Slam. And that was uh, a hour-long uh, video game wrestling competition that took place at PAX South in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we had a tournament, and the winner of the tournament became the new number one contender. So here at Paximania 2, this Sunday at 10.30 a.m., uh, in the main stage here at PAX East, We'll take on Samantha Coleman in our main event. That's true. And just in case we need to abstract it another level. Should we? We've been doing video game wrestling panels for just about two years now. Uh, two and we, a half. Two and a half Six years Six months almost. matters. Yeah. We, we started by pulling together a bunch of our friends, video game developers, um, uh, gaming press, uh, gaming personalities, uh, all sorts of fantastic people, and we've duped them somehow uh, into sitting in packed theaters playing wrestling video games in front of a crowd here at PAX. Uh, and so, uh, as, as Pat uh, referenced, Southern Slam is the, the latest iteration of that, and so we're gearing up for Paxamania, um, Paxamania 2, uh, which is taking place this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. It's streaming on uh, twitch.tv slash PAX in the main theater somehow. They've given us the largest room in the building uh, for this ridiculous nonsense. Um, Everyone I'm just wants to come bask in the glory. You know, we can have more people, I'm more people come into the show. I'm frankly shocked that they let us do this at all, uh, let alone giving us bigger and bigger rooms. Right? Yeah. It's a pr pretty big, dumb thing, but uh, it's growing really in a really cool way. So that's been really neat to be a part of. So to catch everyone up, Southern Slam. We had that tournament, Pat. Hmm. Uh, it was pretty action-packed. Um, we had a lot of fantastic people there. Yes. Uh, Amory Sullivan. 
ended up winning the tournament, um, and so she's got the, the shot at your title. One of my best friends. Um, and, uh, and we've got some news about that uh, that we'll dig into in just a little bit. Um, in addition to Amaris, uh, we had Cahill White from FIG. Uh, we had uh, uh, Chris Waters, um, author of, of a fantastic new book uh, that I cannot recall the name of about video. It's like Something video, video, video games, games to play before you, to you play. die. Yeah, uh. it's, it's a paper book. If you want to go to a brick and mortar bookstore or an Amazon.com, uh, you can buy a book and read about video games yeah. if, uh, if that's your thing. Uh, uh, we had both the Trin Train and the Gen Train from yeah, Cards Against the, Humanity. The Bane Train. Yeah. The Bane Train. Yeah. I apologize. The Bane Train. Yeah, friendshipping, uh, friendshipping podcast represented well. Uh, and uh, friends of, uh, of yours. Both dear friends, Chicago yes. friends, representing. Yes. Yep. From the Indie Love Coalition, which, yes. uh, which you founded. Is yes. that correct, so Samantha? At one point in the world of video game wrestling, there was this uh, group of uh, really nasty human beings called uh, Run GFB. Mm. And they were a plague on the industry. And, um, you know, we really needed to, I, I mean, I felt that we needed to combat all, all like, the, the vileness with just the purity of love. Mm. So got together with some friends, Trin and Kate Welch, and Sean Baptiste and a few others, and we formed the Indie Love Coalition. Alexa Ray Correa, one of my dearest friends. We all got together, we're like, you know, we're, we, we love, we have a lot of love for video games. We want to change the, we want to flip the script. Oh, and so let's did. bring love you to did. video games. You, you changed the entire landscape of PAX Wrestling. Uh, we no longer have Run GFB, thank God. Um, hopefully no one from that faction um, tries to make a return either to this pre 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 show or to Pax Mania two on Sunday. I can't imagine they will. No, I would be happy to never see any of them again. Mm -hmm. I was personally thrilled when um, Commissioner Greg Miller fired Dave Lang in front of everybody. One of one of the few things that Greg Miller's actually done right, and we should dig into that for a second. Um, in addition to the tournament that we had uh, at Southern Slam, um, Greg Miller was nowhere to be seen. Like our our own commissioner, he's supposed to be enforcing the law and order. Uh, he was not there at all. Like that, that's, that to me seems reckless and irresponsible. You know, the champ is allowed to no-show. The commissioner, I feel like the commissioner's yeah. due diligence got to be there. So it's I mean, inappropriate. To be fair, Samantha, you weren't booked in a match. We, we invited you to come to see who your number, number one contender would be, but you were under no obligation. Now, Greg, on the other hand, I mean, a show ran without him. Fairly smoothly, I should add, but Strang it did run without it. Strangely enough, the one show that we ran without the commissioner was the smoothest show we've had so far. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. No technical interruptions. No fog machines. Uh, yeah, there were no fog machines. Yeah. And, and there never will be another fog machine. Please. Please don't bring At a fog machine. any machines. show Please don't bring that fog we machines. ever host. I don't turn on the fog machines. Again. Please don't. Uh, so, uh, so Greg Miller, the failures of Greg Miller have, have been uh, uh, legend. Uh, like every, every single show. I mean, we can we trace nearly every uh, pratfall, every injury, every technical hiccup can be traced in some way, shape, or form back to our commissioner, Greg Miller. Yeah, um, that sounds right to me. And, and I, would, I would be incredibly thankful if, uh, if he were to accept Dan Reichert's challenge at Pax Mania. I'm mm. getting ahead of myself a little mm -hmm. bit, uh, tipping my hand for Pax Mania 2. Um, but if, uh, if he could accept Dan's challenge uh, for that Loser Leaves Town match, um, I would be thrilled to never see Greg Miller again. Aaron, uh, at this point, I think we should probably talk about uh, the fallout of Southern Slam and talk about Pax Mania 2 uh, and the main event wrinkle. A main event wrinkle, yes, yeah. yes, an excellent point. Uh, so uh, as we mentioned, uh, Amory Sullivan, uh, fantastic human being. Ab Wonderful. Like an absolute delight, right? Lovely lady. Ray of sunshine. Such every, a gal. Every best, time we see her. Best fanny pack in professional oh, wrestling. In, best in the biz. Best, best in the biz. biz. Uh, she won the tournament um, somehow. Viciously. Like, like it, yeah, she there had, was some. She had punches. There was some viciousness. My, my favorite touch of viciousness, viciousness was when she knocked over the stack of Chris Waters' books. Um, it was a very defiance. like a very subtle touch of defiance. Uh, so uh, so she she went the distance and she won all. Uh, for your title at Mania this Sunday. Yes. But she unfortunately will not be at the show. Amaris, bless her heart. Yeah. So sad she can't make it. Yeah. She earned that spot, so you know we'll figure something out. Yeah. Gotta have a new contender. 
So um, that's that's a, 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 a bit of a wrinkle, as you said, Pat. I want to say this is a shocking announcement. Uh, we've known about this for a couple of days. We didn't we didn't want to disappoint the fans. There were a lot of people looking forward to that main event, uh, but. Uh, as they say in life, the show must go on, right? Yep, no, that's true. And and, and Amory's to her credit, uh, we worked really hard with her to uh, to try to book a replacement, yeah. uh, to try to find some kind of fill-in, um, and, uh, and and she really did want to be at the show. And I can't stress that enough, that uh, through no fault of her own, she's not going to be able to make it. But uh, she'll be in attendance at Paxomania 2 um, in our hearts. In our that's, hearts. That's sure. And, and yeah. you know, it's really okay because... Being the champ, it's really hard to defend my title against a friend, and it's even harder knowing that she had no chance coming into it wow. to begin with. You know, it was just okay. I was gonna have to destroy a dear friend, and uh, it's just part of the job, you know. Uh, and I'm sad about that, but I'm a little relieved that I won't have to. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Understand. I'm curious about you know who who will be stepping up to the plate. Who will uh, face the wrath of Um Jammer Sammy? That that will definitely be interesting to see. I I hope that we are able to figure something out before yeah. ten thirty a.m. on Sunday uh, I'm gonna in the keep, main theater. I'm going to keep a, I'm going to keep close attention to all the contenders and see like who might be worthy of a title shot with the champion. Do Do you have any picks? Do you have any um if if you could if you could hand pick your challenger, who would you like to see? Well, you know, uh, as your contender. You know, it's a good question because nobody is more deserving to represent the top tier of video game wrestling um, than 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 the someone that represents the power of love. So I feel like okay. looking inward within the Indie Love Coalition, like I I would really like to hmm. you know continue to to um, bring bring my friends and and people that have this positive spirit, this positive energy up to speed. You know, help them get um, some more some more face time, some more practice. Um, let them you know uh, feel feel what the, uh, purified power of love in video games, how that can manifest in, uh, with a with a with a one two three count. Okay, so uh, so to clarify, you're you're not. Uh, you're not looking for uh, experience um, or um, uh, a win record at past PAX wrestling events. I mean, um, Alex Navarro will be there. We're jumping ahead. Our former, former champion. champion. Former we champion. could have just like a return title fight. That would be pretty easy to set up. I'm sure Alex would say yes. Yeah, what about that, Samantha? You know, Alex, the Wolf Navarro, he's a strong contender. Strong and contender. he held that title for a while. Um and there was some some kind of claim he made about uh, a, a contractual uh, clause to mm -hmm. to automatically receive a rematch. Uh, I don't know anything about that, but I looked over my contract quite thoroughly with my manager Rich Gallup, and there's nothing in my contract that states that I need to uh, uh, provide that opportunity mm. for anyone. So as far as I'm concerned. The wolf is old news. Wow. wow. Okay. So wow. that's that's an interesting interesting strategy to take uh, to uh, to kind of um, circumvent any kind of uh, uh, traditional logic in determining a number one contender. And you're you're putting all your chips down on uh, on the power of love and what's inside. Yeah. It's it's really it's the, love and indie games are really important. Um, uh, it's it's the number one most important thing. Like if you think about life and what's what's important as we as we grow old and we play video games and life changes and things happen. Like what's the one consistent thread throughout living? It's love. Love. Okay, I was gonna say indie video games, but yeah, love, love too. Would Secondarily, be part of your, close part of your second message. or indie yeah. video games. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Well, let's we'll we'll have to wait and see how that strategy uh, plays out for you on uh, on Sunday. We'll see what uh, happens. Once again, Sunday at 10:30 a.m. in the main theater. Twitch.tv slash PAX for those of you who are not in attendance at the show. And if you are in attendance at the show, uh, please come. We've got a big room, and we'd love to see you there. The biggest possible room. The biggest, the possible, biggest possible room, room that we could have. So we need as many bodies as possible to fill it. We're going to fill that main theater with love. By I Sunday, they'll figure out how to get people into the building. So that's fingers it crossed. It should be great. Fill your fingers crossed. We'll, we'll make it work. I either hope that everyone shows up and we have a full theater or no one shows up, mm. and it is just us performing yeah. to an empty house. Anything in between that, and I will be kind of embarrassed. <laughs> uh, so, so that's our hope for uh, for Sunday at Pax Mania too. 
Uh, Samantha, thank you so much for joining us thank to, to help us recap um, uh, Southern Slam. Excellent recap, even though you weren't even in attendance. Yeah, and you know, if you find my belt, let me know. I'm still looking for still that thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't know. Championship well, fail. Lose, but lose plot thread. I lost I'm it sure, with love. I I'm lost sure the, we'll the belt with love. resolve at some point oh, in cool. the near future. Thanks, guys. Thank Excellent. you so thank much. Thank you very Samantha. much, champ. We'll yeah. see you on Sunday. We'll see you on Sunday, Samantha. All right. Okay. Uh, so wow. that's, that's Southern Slam uh, yeah. pretty much recapped. Um, uh, again, uh, Amaris, um, no showing. Um, that's that's definitely going to throw a monkey wrench in the works. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Um, but I'm sure the rest of Paxamania will run silky smooth. I can't imagine it won't. Oh, we've never had any issues nope. at any Paxamania. I mean, nope. yeah. I, I, you know I, what? Now I hearing I something in the distance about fog machines, which we will not. Yeah. Turn on under any circumstances. I mean, once we, again, we've heard Patrick Klepek will be at Paxmania too, uh, and he once opened up an umbrella in indoors, and that was shocking. Do you think that was? The, do you think that was the impetus for yeah. the fog machine? I I, I think him us. opening up that umbrella really jinxed us. Uh, right. It happened. Yeah, uh, and. And there was a ladder opened, and people walked all underneath that ladder. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of strikes against us yeah. going into Pax Mania. Going uh, so, uh, so let's dig into the card at Pax Mania mm -hmm. too. Uh, mm -hmm. And who better to do that uh, than the manager, or, or I suppose former manager? We'll have to dig into that uh, with him. Uh, former manager of uh, of one of our federation's biggest stars, Mr. Jeff Gersman. Hello, hi. We'll oh, oh, hi. We'll give Jeff let's, a second to put on that headset on. on. Uh, uh, Please don't turn on the fog machine. Thank you very much. Uh, Jeff, how are you? Uh, I am great, Pat. It is great to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Trites, uh, fantastic. Fantastic to be here. Thank you. Thank you, you know, I've been uh, kind of working um, you know, with, uh, with people that have been involved in your shows, but I've never been able to attend one. I'm hoping that you know, now that you know, I'm, I'm kind of free and clear and, and not managing anyone myself, that maybe I can actually just attend as a fan and uh, see it for, uh, for real up close. No, that'd be fantastic. Um, if you could, could you give us some deep background? You, you, I know you've mentioned on Twitter that uh, that you and Dr. Tracksuit apparently had some kind of falling out. Well, uh, you're you know, no longer managing. I wouldn't necessarily call it a falling out. Uh, so at, at the end of uh, at the end of our time in Seattle at PAX Prime, uh, you know that some of some events went down with my then client, Dr. Tracksuit. Mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, you know seemed pretty mysterious, and he kind of just he disappeared, which yeah. is not abnormal. For Doctor Tracksuit, he will he will disappear. I won't hear for, from him for months at a time. I um, should at this point uh, jump in. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with our wrestling league, uh, many of our competitors are in the games industry, uh, tangentially at least. Uh, some host shows, some make video games, uh, some cover them for uh, magazines and websites. Uh, Doctor Tracksuit is just a doctor who wanted to join our league. He's a real outlier, as far as I can tell. He has no, con other than you being yeah. uh, his manager, had no real seeming well, connection Yeah, to I mean, us. you know, I, he seemed like he could get the job done, and okay. I wanted to partner with winners. And, oh, uh, okay. and I, I partnered up with him, and I, I think he does have what it takes to go all the way. But, you know, he, he vanished, and, and, you know, normally I can find Dr. Tracksuit when I need to. And uh, I, I spent months and months searching for him, and uh, I found a hot tip that maybe he was in Fresno. I went down there for Fresno. a couple of days and dug around, mm. and and just he just never turned up. And then I, I got a call out of the blue uh, from uh, from D D Leasy uh, Esquire now yes. uh, yeah, now that strange. he's a, a lawyer uh, informing me that uh, that he had found Doctor Tracksuit and that the tag team tournament wouldn't be a problem. Huh. And basically, you know, kind of it seems like my services would no longer be needed. Wow. And that, that hurts, but at the same time, you know, uh, Dr. Tracksuit is his own man, and if uh, if that's the the path he wants to take, I wish him the best. And I, but I, I still haven't seen him or, or, or really heard from him. I've been been trying to track him down just to catch up. You know, it's yeah. just been been a good long time yeah. here. Uh, since since those events at uh, at Pax Prime that you mentioned, um, and uh, and that's re referring, of course, to uh, the the final matches with Run GFB and the Indie Love Coalition, where Dr. Tracksuit uh, seemed to be uh, embraced by the ILC and. Uh, and, and seemed overwhelmed by that power of love. I've never seen him like that. I've seen Dr. Tracksuit under a lot of different circumstances, in a lot of different situations, uh, with a lot of different things coursing through his veins. Rage, vengeance, yep. you know, like a, a, lot of, a lot of different things. But never love. Lots but, of energy. But He's but always got yeah, a lot of energy. Always got a lot of energy, but never like this. So oh. I, it's... Uh, 
it was uh, it was troubling, and I was really hoping to be able to kind of just get with him and get with my client and get ready for for uh, you know here in in Boston. But uh, it just seems like it's not meant to be. So mm. you know, I'll, I'll put it out there. Like I'm I'm on the hunt for uh, oh. for clients that want to win. Okay. I, I know how to win in this league in any league. And uh, I'd be willing, uh, perhaps, uh, if the situation was right, I would be willing to kind of shepherd someone through the storm that is oh, uh, offering mentorship. That is PAX wrestling. Fantastic. Yeah, a little bit of mentorship. Can we get security? Security? Do we have any? Do no, we have, we, any? Have no, we have no, no security? security? All right. So, no. I okay. paid $6 for this at the ice cream stand where they told me they had no ice cream. And a boy made this orange slushy for me. And then he looked out there at the woman who was out there shouting, no ice cream. He said, Auntie! Auntie! There's no, it's, it doesn't, we're running out. And he just, he, he, he was trying to pump me a lemon lime when I ordered an orange. Well, and you told us you were going to get a milkshake. I was going to get a milkshake. They didn't have anything even close to Behind the scenes. A behind miles shake. away from the milkshake. And, uh, well, you know, I, I just, like I said, as a manager, I think a lot of things around here could be improved uh, in the league, out oh, of the wow, league. So around you're, you're back, thinking you know. out. No, you're uh, thinking I'm, I'm uh, thinking big. Scale. Hey, I, you know, like I said, I'm a manager. You, big you picture need, guy. We've I can got, manage anything. We've got four teams in our tag team tournament. Now, one of those teams probably is not looking for a position from you because it does feature uh, uh, D. Leasy, Dave Lang, and Dr. Tracksuit as one of those tag teams. There are three other teams that... Maybe looking for a manager, someone with such experience in our wrestling league. It's true. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't come cheap, but it seems like there are maybe some moneyed interest in there. If they're oh. interested in that sort of thing, you know, I, I would be willing to hear them out. I'd be, like I said, be, I'd be willing to hear uh, anyone out. I know, you know, some, some folks coming in from other leagues might not know uh, how to handle things around these parts. That's uh, true. I, I've sh I have shredded these waters uh, for many moons, and if they are looking to win... Uh, I'm, I'm available. I'll, I'll put myself out there. I'm available. Yeah, that referring, of course, uh, to uh, uh, Ophidian and Argus um, from Chikar Pro Wrestling, uh, who will be joining us on Sunday for some reason uh, at Paxamania 2. Actual professional wrestlers. Chikara is a wrestling promotion. Yes. Now, it's a fun, with the capital F, wrestling promotion. But make no mistake, they're wrestlers. Yep, yep. Argus. They are masked Wrestlers. Yep, Argus is a gecko Roman wrestler. Yes. Uh, and Ophidian is the master of snake style lucha. Uh, the style that I And believe they're going to play a video game. The Egyptian Nile. Uh, yeah, yeah, they'll be joining us for video game wrestling uh, because that's what we do at Paximania. We get the finest. Is that what uh, it is? I, I believe that's okay. what it's intended to be. All right, to be. okay. Uh, it's intended like I to said, be. I've, you know, I, can't, I, I can rarely attend the show because well, I, hopefully I usually be have to it. cover the doctor's exit, make sure he can kind of get out of the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so I'm usually off handling that. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, so that's two tag teams we've mentioned now, uh, the tag team of Ophidian and Argus, um, the Chikara Pro wrestlers, um, and, uh, and D. Leasy and uh, Dr. Tracksuit. Um, and, uh, and you uh, made mention of the, the big money tag team, um, one John Drake, uh, Johnny Cashanova, uh -huh. um, and uh, the gentleman Anthony Carboni um, yeah, uh, joining a, a, us. Yeah, a newcomer uh, yep. here. That's, First uh, that's always exciting, yep. uh, seeing people debut. I'll be curious to see uh, how they fare. I think, uh, you know, the Johnny Cashanova, I think, uh, you know, is, a, is an interesting figure. I think he's got a lot of interesting ideas about... Uh, where the league could go and and it seems like they've got a lot of money behind them yeah it, it really does and uh that that's uh something that i can't really say about any other facet of the league so you have to worry about you know like could could that like financial dominance is that could that that's pose true. an we, additional we, problem we certainly could use some manner of financial support absolutely um and the, uh, right. the final tag team probably offering nothing in the way of financials mm. uh is uh, former champion alex the wolf navarro mm. Um, and uh, Mr. Cohen Edenfield, another first timer. Um, uh, Cohen is a ghost. Uh, Cohen has been cutting some absolutely vicious promos on Twitter, uh, where he threatened to skin our daddy's mask or skin our daddy's face and wear them like masks. Okay. Um, and uh, I like that. Uh, That's encouraged a... us to kill our old gods. Claiming he is the new faith. That is all actionable information. You that's, know, that's, that's, that's true. That's, you know, Clear, decisive. Yeah, absolutely. And, now, and I like that. I do want to point out, as far as I can tell, Ethan's day job is that he is a uh, video game designer and uh, he's the lead on the Homestuck video game. Mm -hmm. yep. And his night profession seems to be a ghost on Twitter. Yep. Uh, and uh, you know what? I can't wait to see how he does in our tournament. And it it's is, good money if you can get it. It is bonkers. That that is not even close to being the most eccentric character 
in our league. Yeah, no, a, that's a part-time uh, ghost. A, a lot of a, a lot of talents have, have come from all over the world to compete here. Uh, you know, and, and hopefully some of them will get a shot at the industry's richest prize. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, I should mention this, Aaron, and I, I do apologize that I didn't say it before. Our tag team tournament, this is the first time we were doing a tag tournament, uh, it is in honor of industry veteran, uh, the beloved Jeff Green. Uh, this is a memorial tournament. He's uh, not dead. Uh, He's fine. But Absolutely. we're just thinking about him. We haven't seen him in a while. We miss and him. we love him. And we miss him. Uh, Jeff, if you're out there, uh, I assume you are. Let's, let's hope so. Yeah. Let's hope so. Uh, I think we can all agree. Uh, in a uh, league full of people that have deep-seated animosity and uh, a world of double crosses, we can all agree we hate Jeff the least. Oh, yes. Yeah, most definitely. Universally. Yeah. Um, speaking of double crosses oh. uh, and heels, yes. uh, we should talk about the miserable Dan Riker. Mm. Uh, wow. And the equally abysmal Greg Miller. It's uh, a real... It's a real, it's a real bum fight with that one. It's you know, you I, just, it like, textbook Sophie's choice. No matter who wins, we lose yes. on that one. Yeah, that's. Uh, uh, so Greg, our commissioner, um, commissioner, we use that term loosely because he's, uh, he's done nothing. Yeah, nothing no. for two and two and a half years. Maybe if he had some proper management, uh, you know, he Managing could see his way through. I had never uh, even considered that. Look, I, yeah, hey, that, I see all the Oof. angles. I see every angle. Man, this still waters run deep, Jeff. That's hey. This is how I do. Uh, but Dan, uh, seemingly, just things are given to him. He got a title shot out of nowhere. Uh, no, he went out first in, in the Rumble, uh, our previous Rumble at PAX Prime, uh, but always seems to get in there and is now challenging Greg Miller to a match. Yeah. And, I mean, the question on everyone's mind is, Who's letting Dan do this? It's uh, it's it's a real boondoggle. Like the the ro Dan's road to Paxamania has been filled with potholes. I, I see it this way, you know, a guy like Dan Reichert, he's not dirty. He's desperate. Desperate. He, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a match here. He's clawing at whatever straws yeah. he can get. He's out there. Well, hey, Greg Miller, give me a match. Give me a match. And give the me a match, match that he was supposed to have meeting with WWE's. Uh, Xavier Woods, uh, one one half of the uh, the WWE Tag Team Champions, uh -huh. the New Day, one third, one third, one third. yeah, th thank you. Um, he uh, he was initially booked um, to to face Xavier uh, Austin Woods on Up Up Down Down on YouTube. Subscribe. Um, Xavier got called off to a European tour for WWE at the last minute, uh -huh. um, and for any normal person, that match would have just dissolved, and then Dan would have had nothing to do at Paxamania. Right, but no, he needs more. He has to have more. So it's, it's not enough for him to even just go find like a, a newcomer. We have some newcomers coming sure, in and, and, and maybe shepherd them through. No, no, he wants to take a run at the commissioner, which I'll agree with him on one thing. Our commissioner is garbage. Yeah, he has to go. Uh, he is just a human trash fire. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, for Dan Riker to just like aim at the top like that and just like it, the, co of the commissioner has no reason to agree to this match. Like, yeah. what does he get out of it? And well, in fact, has not agreed to it. No, yeah. as, also, as of yeah. yet, you yeah. could you could claim that he's been ducking Dan, but in reality, he's just too busy. Yeah, beneath his notice, yeah, frankly. I, I just yeah, I, I see no reason for that match to to even happen. Yeah. If 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 it does come to pass, yeah. if Greg if it does, does accept that challenge, uh, Dan's, Dan's challenge for the loser leaves town match, Paxamania on Sunday at 10.30, how do you see that match playing out? Do you think Dan has what it takes to get rid of Greg? I just I haven't really seen Dan Reichert be victorious in too many things in this league. Uh, so I think that this I could see this just being a, another disappointing loss for him. As recently as this morning, we saw him lose exactly. the Mario exactly. Maker tournament. At the same time. Spoilers. Perfect. Spoilers for yeah. those of you uh, that uh, are waiting for the uh, feed to go up on YouTube. Uh, it was dark. There was no live stream for that, but it we can... It was live Periscope. It was live Periscope. You're right. I apologize. Uh, we can confirm that in the battle of Mario Maker between Dan and Patrick Klepek, uh, who will be making an appearance with us this Sunday, uh, that uh, Dan did not win. Uh, he lost uh, two to yeah. one, and uh, Dan is continued to lose. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, Greg Miller's a scumbag. Yeah. So, you know, good, good a, a, counterpoint. at some point, good like, counterpoint. It, he has no reason to take the match, but also he's scum. Yeah. So, so. so a quick recap for uh, for those of you just joining us. Uh, we're talking about Paxamania 2, 
um, at PAX East this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. in the main theater. It's at twitch.tv PAX for those of you not attending. Uh, it is a ridiculous video game wrestling show. Uh, we've been talking about the Jeff Green Memorial Tag Team Tournament. Mm. Uh, four tag teams uh, facing each other at the top of the show uh, for Tag Team Supremacy. Uh, we're talking about our main event with our champion, Samantha Coleman, um, and the challenger, which was supposed to be Amory Sullivan from Double Fine, uh, no longer able to make it, um, challenger TBD. Uh, and There then will be a match, though. There Perhaps will be a match. We're gonna TBD needs some management. Maybe. I just want to put that out there. for that TBD, that too. That's, hey, every yeah, angle. Covering all the bases. Uh, and then, uh, and then th there's also this third ethereal challenge in the mix where Dan Reichert has challenged our commissioner, Greg Miller, to a match, which let's hope... Greg is smart enough to not give him. You know what? It'll never happen. Give him the spotlight. As much as I would love to see Dan lose again, and as much as I would love Greg to actually do something in our league, and believe me, I at I least want, this would be him cleaning up a yeah, mess. I want to be supportive. Uh, that's my role here. Is I I want to be a force and be supportive of everyone and see the brighter side. I just don't know if there's an upside to either of those. Well, gentlemen. if you want to be supportive of people, Pat, I well, submit that you are part of the wrong panel. Uh, okay. This this wow. show has proven wow. time and time okay. again. No, no, okay. you're, you you you're a great guy, okay. and, and you got a you got a heart as big as the world. But this this whole federation is filled with dirtbags and losers and heels and cheats and, and thieves. And many of them need guidance. <laughs> many guidance of them need guidance. If any provide. of you are looking for management. Jeff Gersman is your man. I'm available. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, Pat. It, I mean, it, it really like it. It's it's unbelievable that that you even got involved with it, in, in this in the first place. Everyone yep. is so terrible, yeah. um, and and everyone has been stabbing each other in the back repeatedly um, for for years now. I honestly don't even know where we could take things from here. We're we're in the main theater. The main seats three thousand people. Yeah, that's uh, we're gonna have to. Put some butts in those seats. We have to paper pretty heavily for this show. Yeah. Get out there and make it uh, happen. I've seen uh, flyers out on the street. Yeah, okay. I've seen right. illegal photocopied flyers out there on the street waiting to get people's hands, uh, telling them to come out. If you're at PAX East, please come to our wrestling show. That is uh, as simple as I can put it. 10.30 a.m. Sunday in the main theater. If there's only a few people, it will make us sad. Yeah. Again, either all of you have to come and fill the room, or none of you should come. I'll say this. Stay if, home. If there's under 100 people, I'm kicking them out. A I'm boat. not kicking no. them out, telling them to that's, go somewhere else. That's the path that's going to fit in. I'm sending them to the show floor. We got under 100 people, send them to the show floor. Think I'm the Iron Galaxy's booth. That's, Play dive kick. Or, that's the know. awful Pat Bear that we need to okay. really succeed all right. Finally. Well, in this okay. league. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, we've uh, we've okay. got some uh, some questions that uh, that we took on uh, on Twitter. Uh, we could uh, we could cut to some uh, some Q and A. Um, we'll uh, we'll probably let's let's save that for a, for a little bit later. Um, yeah. uh, towards the, the tail end of the panel. We should uh, we should let Jeff go. Uh, he's got an important meeting coming up. Uh, Jeff, is there anything this weekend uh, outside of Pax Wrestling you'd like to promote at this time? Nope. Okay. Thank Nothing you very at much. All. all right. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, I will. I'll. I'll take the opportunity instead to plug the Giant Palm panel, which is, I think, tonight. Yes, it's um, tonight. Probably in a theater. And uh, uh, the Albatross Theater. Albatross Theater. Uh, Seven thirty. Uh, Seven o'clock. Seven thirty. Check. Check the pack site. Check guidebook. That's um, uh, packs two. Giant Palm probably has something posted somewhere. Uh, they're all on Twitter, yeah. uh, or just come to PAX and ask for Giant Bomb. They're yeah. always around somewhere. Look for the big line full of people excited to see a panel. That's uh, that's how you know you're there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so one of the uh, one of the sections that I wanted to touch on really quickly, Pat. Um, yeah. I, I wanted to talk about some wish list stuff. Some real okay. some oh, real pie, pie in the, in the sky. sky. Do you want to talk about like oh, I'm going to lean back for this one. Just, oh, no, like, just just oh, just relax. All right. Just think about. You know what, what I would love. Could hold. You know what I would love more than anything. What would you love, Pat? You know, there's this group of real great people and um, monsters that exist in yep. this world, and they're here in Boston. They have a show tomorrow night. Uh, Kaiju. You mean, you mean actual monsters, not like no, not figurative not, monsters like Dave Lang. Not Dave Lang. I'm talking about real, larger than life monsters. Kaiju. Yep. Kaiju Big Batel. They're in Boston, and it's like, and they have a panel here at PAX, and it's yep. like, 
Why didn't we get those guys? And a show nearby in Somerville why at didn't Cuisine we, and Locale on why didn't uh, Saturday we ask, night. Why didn't Tickets we are ask, still available, uh, I believe. People should check that out. We could have asked a couple of them to do something in our show, like, hey, just show up and yeah. do something silly and fun. We wouldn't be able to promote you. It would be a surprise. Yeah. Like In the world of uh, fantasy booking, I would absolutely love to get Kaiju Big Battelle involved with Paxomania or Pax Wrestling in some capacity. We should have thought of that. What we were should've. we doing? We, we have not thought things through very yeah. cleanly for uh, this or any panel, no. frankly. Um, no, they, they would be fantastic. I'm stoked that we're getting Chikara. That's, that's oh. definitely a blessing. I, I love them. Chikara. I love the, 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 the men and women of Chikara. Uh, I'm so excited to, to, to meet them and have them compete in video games. Like, I should really make this clear. We are a wrestling league that plays video games. Yes. That is what we let's, are and what we do. Let's hope there's no actual wrestling at this panel. Please, no actual wrestling. No one is trained. I mean, the gentlemen from Chikara are gentlemen legitimately Chikara trained. Are trained. Everyone but else. Everyone else are just is a buffoon. 20 and th to 30 somethings, or maybe a couple 40 somethings, with. A whole lack of physical knowledge, but an axe to grind. They've yes. all got axes to grind. Oh yeah. Uh, so, uh, so kind of like following that trend, um, folks in professional wrestling that would like to see involved, uh, Xavier Woods, as we mentioned. Uh, One of these days, the stars will align. It's gonna happen. Europe pulled them away from us. I I'm not kidding when I say he was booked to be here. Yep. Uh, it wasn't a joke. It wasn't a, uh, one of Dan's many lies. And, and Xavier's contributed video to, to, to past PAX yes, events, yes, that's true. Uh, which has been fantastic. Uh, um, a long-running feud with Dan Reichert, uh, and hopefully that does pay off at some point in the near future. We were gonna we were gonna break our own rule and have Double Dash be played, a yeah. non-wrestling game. Because it's what Xavier wanted. Yeah. He's one of the tag champs. Yeah. So he gets what he wants. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, it would be, it would be great to have any other member of that uh, uh, of of uh, of that league, of like day, someone. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, uh, pie in the sky, right? Pie in the sky. Who who would it be? Who would you have? Uh, I would love anyway. to see Kenny Omega. Uh, oh, Kenny Omega, uh, another video guy. game enthusiast. Um, he's been fantastic. Yeah, uh, it'd be wonderful to see Kenny Omega oh, come yeah, out. Yeah. Um, Samoa Joe, I know, is a Samoa is Joe. an avid gamer as Samoa well. Samoa Joe. Hates Dan Riker. Yeah. So uh, legitimately so hates Dan. We would get along very oh, well. Oh, it would be it such would a be good company. A match made in oh, heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we were fortunate enough to uh, to see Samoa Joe last night uh, at NXT in Lowell, where yeah. uh, where Samoa Joe won the NXT title. Yeah. You thought it was a dark match win. He'd win it back the other day, but WWE reported on it. They put it on their website, yeah. the clip, which means that it's real. That's it, a real thing yeah, that happened. Yeah, no, and, and well-deserved, too. He's, yeah. he's one of oh. the best best workers in of the business. Um, and a, uh, as a huge video game fan, we would absolutely love to have him. Uh, if anyone knows him, we'd love, we'd love him. Uh, I would love either uh, uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, yeah. avid video game player, used to have the Triforce on his trunks, or on, sorry, his boots when he first came out. Uh, Stardust. Loves video games as well. I'd love either of those gentlemen. Either maybe Cody a, Rhodes or Stardust. Yeah, maybe a match between the two. That would be so yeah. cool. And and Dan Reichert, again, a monster. Yeah. Somehow ended up at Cody Rhodes' house for a WrestleMania pre party. I didn't want to know that. Absolutely baffling. I just did not want to know that. Absolutely baffling. Like I wish I didn't know that. He can just breeze through life. Yeah. Just catching all the breaks. Well, hopefully that comes to an end this Sunday at Paxamania 2 in the main theater. At One Pax would assume that there will be comeuppance on Sunday. At Sunday, uh, God willing. Yeah, we're gonna, willing. we've got, as mentioned, a tag team tournament. Uh, so we're going to see uh, all those matches play out. We've got four teams. So we will see uh, a semifinal and final round. So that's, uh, let me do the math there. That's three matches in the tournament, right? Yeah, sure, let's say yes. We'll say three matches in that. We'll have a main event, uh, a title defense. Someone will face someone for a title, uh, and then we hopefully won't see Dan Record at all. Yeah, no, that would be an absolute delight. Um, so, uh, so while while we're while we're on the subject of fantasy booking, Pat, yes, um, kind of moving outside the world of wrestling mm -hmm. um, and kind of circling back to the world of gaming. Oh, um, who in the world of gaming, whether it's a game developer uh, or a games journalist uh, or YouTube personality, are there any folks in the gaming industry at large? that you would love to see involved in a future mm. PAX Mania or PAX Rumble or PAX, PAX Wrestling show. Mm. Wow, you're putting me on the spot here. 
I've, uh, I've got one in mind if it'll help you out, and I, I'm, I'm willing to bet that you're going to agree with me. Okay. Uh, I, would, I would give my eye teeth to see the McElroy brothers. Oh, yeah. As a faction. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, think if we could get them all together, they would be absolutely unstoppable. Griffin has reignited his love of wrestling legitimately. Uh, I would love to see him in there. Uh, guys, guys, guys. Oh. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. You never told me you were going to push the McElroys. Oh, oh, oh are, are we? This, this is not, this is a McElroy free zone. This is a McElroy, okay. got it. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Do not fuck with the McElroys. I, I apologize, Dave. Uh, Understood. We're hearing from Dave Lang. We are uh, your guests. We push Esquire, push Esquire. Esquire. Follow, Esquire. follow the Lang house es rules. Yeah. I mean, Dave Lang Esquire uh, has given us his opportunity to do our pre-show. As you know, we do not have a network. We can't do a network pre-show. Uh, we don't have live streaming capacity on our own. We're at the mercy of Twitch and PAX. Uh, Gracious guests, we'd be on Periscope if it wasn't for him. So uh, we, we'll we'll put that aside. You know, uh, yeah. I. Uh, so outside outside of outside those of the, who uh, shall not be named, no longer named. Uh, uh, any uh, any folks that you can think of in the industry at large uh, that you'd like to see participate? You know, maybe someone from Double Fine. Well, feel like I, we've, I mean, Amory Sullivan, we've had. Yep, yeah. Oh, uh, Tim, right. Tim Schaefer, we've had. Did we have Tim Schaefer? We did. Tim Schaefer in the I, very first Rumble. I think we're name-dropping Tim Schaefer was at our first Rumble, uh, and that was a big deal. We had Greg Rice. Greg Rice, yes, of course. Yep. Um, okay, I guess uh, we've had people from Double Fine. I don't yeah. know. Oh, we've had so many people from Double Fine. Maybe, yeah. maybe second only to Harmonix, Double Fine is, I believe, well, and Giant Bomb, because Giant everyone Bomb, yes. from Giant Bomb has yes. been involved but uh we've but, yeah, had uh double well, well, fine is brad, one of the highest brad, participants brad shoemaker i'm calling you out oh. you're skipping out on pax east this year because you knew we'd make you do our show that's the dream that's the dream brad right shoemaker there. you're gonna do our wrestling show and, and you don't even have to do anything like just honestly like if you just want to show up sit at the commentary table with me and eric pope yeah oh oh, oh. <laughs> we have not oh. we have been on for 40 minutes First mention of uh, Eric Pope. Eric Pope. Uh, Pope's had a little bit of time off. Eric Pope's been our caller commentary man. Canada's own Eric Pope. Yeah. Now, new, uh, recently exported to uh, to Canada, to the Great White North. Uh, Eric Pope was uh, was my co-host. He joined me on commentary for the first four shows. Um, mix missed Southern Slam at PAX South. Yeah. Um, so he's he's been off my mind for a little bit, but he's he's making the the long voyage back. I believe he's circled the waggle tr uh, wagon trains mm. uh, to come down from uh, from from Canada you specifically and, uh, for Paxamania. You and you and Eric will be there on uh, Sunday uh, doing uh, live color play by play. Yep. Uh, I'll be in the Bear Cave, of course, doing the interviews, the hard interviews, uh, where I need to be. Uh, we're gonna have all kinds of great stuff. We're gonna have. Uh, Wrestling, uh, promotion. Uh, I hear there's, is there, is there merchandise? There's, there is merch. Okay. We do have swag available. Okay. Um, we will have turn on the fog machine T-shirts against the better judgment of everyone. Um, uh, we made a concession with Greg Miller that we would make a T-shirt, the first T-shirt that was official. There's been a lot of unofficial merch out there. Uh, this is the first official piece of merchandise uh, available. You'll be able to buy that. Uh, and we'll, we'll probably talk about that during the show. Yep, we'll give a few away. We'll sell a few. Okay. Uh, if you're on the show floor at PAX, you can track me down. Uh, after uh, Probably after this panel, I will have uh, T-shirts for sale, uh, Turn on the Fog Machine T-shirts. Uh, I also have the, the remainder of the Paxamania 1 trading cards, a limited trading card set. You That's right, those. trading cards, merch, QVC style, giving you the Zoom. Uh, we do have the last uh, last 100 packs of Paxamania One trading cards. Those, those uh, are beautiful trading featuring cards. Featuring D. Lazy, mm -hmm. um, featuring our champion Samantha Coleman, Dirty Dan Riker, Alex the Wolf Navarro. You uh, and it's, Eric. It starts. Yeah, me and me there. and Pope, but we're nobodies. Wow. Um, so uh, so yeah, we, we do have the last last of those. So you can track me down anytime after this live stream that we're doing right now to either purchase Turn On The Fog Machine t-shirts or Paxmania 1 trading cards. T-shirts will be $15. Uh, uh, the trading uh, cards will be $3 each or two for five. Aaron, I'm, I'm hearing in my earpiece, uh, someone wants wants to, to join us uh, uh, here at the couch. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, if someone wanted to join us, as long as they weren't an absolute garbage fire, I mean, um, that would be fantastic. It's... I he's not even paying attention. He's not. To hell with I him. gave him an excellent lead-in. with that uh, I, I legitimately just, just tried to give him a cool, seamless lead-in so no. he didn't just show up. 
Uh, if he doesn't want that lead in, uh, I'm, I don't feel like stalling anymore. No, I, like, grief him at this point. Now, I should Dan say. Dan Reichert's off camera. Yeah, and it may look like he was going to sit he's down trash. and join us. And we would have had some back and forth and it would have been very fun. He's, he's shooting the shit with Now, to be fair, he might not know he Esquire. could do that. He might not be aware that he no. could do that. We don't want to, no. but he should. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to handle Q&A. We're going to handle Q&A with... Dan Riker. How are you? Let me, Hello, Dan. let me pull up the questions here. We, we took questions on Twitter earlier this week asking people to submit questions about Paxamania. All right. So we're going to run through some questions that we got from the Twitterverse All right. about Paxamania. Hashtag Paxamania on Twitter. Join the conversation. I got to answer, Aaron. Uh, Dave Lang working the camera. Look at this. No, and Renaissance he's, man, Dave Lang. He at the, does uh, it all. Yeah. At the bequest of Dave Lang, we are here on are our Are you just Galaxy's shooting Twitter. my script at this point? Like, just... Do the show. Just yeah, the run of show. This is the show. Come on. This is the show, Lang. Come on. Get Alex Rubens out of here. Uh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, so uh, so first question from uh, from uh, a scrappy young YouTuber that you may be familiar with. Oh, Patrick Klepek? Uh, one Patrick Klepek on Twitter asked, I have a question. Why? Why what? Just why? Like, I, I assume, why are we doing this show? Why? Why no. did? Why did Dave let us do this? Why are? Why are we doing why, the pre-show? Why are we not talking about uh, Killer Instinct season three, like you would expect? Or dive on kick or Iron Galaxy or your, your pitch for a VR version of Racketeer? Oh, please, Dave, where is it? The future is VR. The future is Racketeer. Yeah. I want to talk about Iron Galaxy's snood. That's what I oh. wanted to do while I was here. We're on an Iron Galaxy stream here, right? Is that what's happening? Yes. yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> Dave just, Lang. I'm just wandering I'm into just the kind of walking around here. You just here talked and, with Lang know. for like three yeah, minutes. Yeah, I saw a tall guy that I knew, and I talked to him, and he told me to put a headset on. I would what love a want? little less Dan in my ear if that's oh, possible. <laughs> so I could move if this If I away. could get a little less Dan, that would Aww. be... So, so, so do you have a response for Patrick Klepek, a he YouTuber? He just says why. He's a big intellectual. He likes the existential questions and all that stuff. I'm just here to have a good time. Patrick Klepek has to ask the big questions, and I'm just not really into that, so fuck that guy. <laughs> that, a typical Dan Reichert response. Well, I don't know why he, I expected any big less. He is not even a He's not on the card, right? If you, he, hey, wait. Hey, let's Patrick shoot for Klepek. a second. You're running this Patrick thing, Klepek right? is not on the card, but Patrick Klepek will be joining us briefly on commentary. Okay, so he will be at Paxamania. He will be at Paxamania, right. last I heard. But yes. he's not even on the card, so I'm really not concerned at all with what he yes. has to say. So, Greg Miller is my guy. Fair that I'm dealing with. Speaking of Greg Miller, uh, we, uh, we've got another question from uh, from Greg Miller. Game over Greggy on Twitter. Um, how strict is the no fog machine rule, and does it apply to award-winning gamers? I... Dislike Greg Miller as a man and a professional, but uh, as someone who does enjoy fog machines, I cannot fault him for his actions with the fog machine Dan last Riker, year. Pro fog machine. I, I am pro fog machine. Absolutely. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> it's a cool thing. Please don't like bring fog. fog machines. Please I, don't bring your own fog machines, few. guys. Please don't. Yeah, you Greg, got your fog machine in there. Please don't. Greg has put machines. the call out on Twitter asking all of his followers. To bring their own fog machines and extension cords don't, to the main theater. Don't do that. I Let's can fault him for a lot of things. I can't fault him for that. Okay. All right. So, uh, so Greg, to answer your question, uh, I do not know if there are any uh, any flexibility for uh, for award-winning gamers. Uh, my answer is I hope not. Um, uh, let's get another. Uh, we we had a question from the live audience. We'll take that. Why does Dave Lang suck so much? See, wow, I, I disagree with that. A I, rough rough question in the Iron Galaxy booth. Yeah, you know, I, I have known on Dave enemy Lang, territory. I have known Dave Lang ever since he gave me a Reketeer demo at some Xbox Spring Showcase about four years ago, and he was a delight, and he was knowledgeable, and he was friendly. And ever since then, I have gotten to know him and become his friend. And I like Dave Lang, and I view him as a role model and a great dude. Uh, and he uh, is hosting us. I'm, so he yeah. I'm, I'm I, hearing I in my ear uh, Dave Lang Esquire. Dave Lang Esquire. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I, I couldn't say an unkind yeah. word about our host. Yeah, he is He's fantastic. Very gracious. Um, has anyone confirmed where Dr. Tracksuit is? I believe when we had uh, we had Greg, um, Dr. Tracksuit's former manager, um, on the uh, the show earlier. Jeff, or Jeff, uh, Jeff, Jeff Gersman, right, excuse me. Right. Um, Jeff was able to uh, address um, the, the current whereabouts of, uh, of Dr. Tracksuit. So still some speculation, but we believe that um, that Jeff, uh, um, uh, uh, that Dave Lang Esquire, has tracked him down, and we're expecting to see him for better or for worse. I'm at expecting Taxmania. the gray Dr. Tracksuit from Dave Lang. 
I think the purple, the real Dr. Just a palette swap. I don't know where he's at. Yeah, yeah. Leslie Nielsen's on the case. (laughs) God. That is a deep wrestling cut that I appreciate. (laughs) If if (laughs) Leslie. The real deep wrestling cut. (laughs) No longer alive. I mean, I get it. Leslie Nielsen passed away a few years ago. He's a dead man. I mean, he's not not like he died in the 80s. I he's super. I think he died in the 2000s. He's not struggling. He's dead. He's yeah. He's not yeah. struggling dead. But yeah. he he would have been on my pie in the sky wish list to have involved with oh, Pat yes, of in some way. That would have been fantastic. Yes. Um, all right. Uh, let's see what else uh, we've got. Uh, Billy Lebanski on Twitter asked, "How can we work in pyrotechnics for Paxamania three? No. That's, oh. that's I mean, in. Oh, it's uh, uh, we had Alex uh, Bones Rubens. Uh, he uh, he worked some loose pyro Bones? into his entrance. Uh, at the last PAX Rumble, um, uh, we uh, there were some streamers. Uh, streamers, streamers are great. Yeah, it was little, these were like the the pop. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go with that confetti. I'll happen. go with that. What uh, about the little uh, white things that you throw and they kind of you know do a little? Like pop? Oh, what, what about yeah. the uh, the black snake things black that you, you light? Yeah, they they kind of do a li- thing. You're lighting. You need an open you flame. Shouldn't, you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah you shouldn't uh, light those indoors. Uh, put the mix on that. Look. Pyrotechnics, that's just pie in the sky, guys. Let's let's be more realistic, please. A L- little bit of behind-the-scenes color for you. Uh, Pat Bear has drafted a one-page uh, tech overview for everyone. Pat's safety rules that we have to include in every run of show sent to every performer. Rule number one is we get to do this until someone gets hurt. Uh, so Pat is yep. our, uh, our safety officer, and he is staunchly uh, uh, pe- anti-fog machine and anti-pyro. Uh, while we're behind the camera... Uh, you sent that to real wrestlers. Real wrestlers read my stupid notes. Yes. And that made me feel real embarrassed. <laughs> they, I'm sure they appreciated it. I'm, I'm sure that they have encountered I'm sure people. they're really happy that I said, I can teach you how to fall. Like, I'm sure they oh, really yeah. appreciated my you know, notes. If, if Ophidian needs some, some pro tips, yeah. it's good to know you're available. I'm glad that you waited until after I had a bunch of glass broken over my head and I got put through a table. For you to institute yeah. some safety rules. We had to do Thanks. that first show, Thanks. kind yeah. of in the dark. We the safest table possible. You know what? Life. I should mention this. We've never rebuilt the Spanish announce table, and it makes me sad. Oh. That, yeah, that's true. Someday we'll have the money to rebuild that table, yeah. but we just haven't been able to find the funds. Yeah. Alisa Melendez is here, uh, and she's volunteered her services, um, and unfortunately we won't uh, won't be seeing her. We don't have a table uh, for her. We have no table. No Spanish we don't have a table. Spanish announce table anymore. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. And and Dan, a little brief off topic. Yes. you've done some actual wrestling appearances. I am a professional wrestling manager. Yes, yes. That's a real thing, though. But I mean, it's legitimately and real. Like, but, but that's like can, a can wrestling. Can we acknowledge league? for a second that that is nonsense? That that is ridiculous. That that is the direction that your life has taken. I interrupted Billy Gunn's famouser against Joey Ryan a few weeks ago. <laughs> Successfully, it's a real. That's a real the thing king, that happened. King of Dong style. Like, I'm, yes. not, I'm not. I'm not saying like. In oh, front that's of Chris funny. Christopherson. Wow. Yeah. That's right. That's yes. right. I had forgotten about Ladies that. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Christopherson's son is a wrestler. Jody Warpig, Christopherson. Yes. Any, any, that's any chance that, that we could get Christopherson to uh, to 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 play America the Beautiful uh, next Pax Mania? I could, I could pull some strings, maybe. Yeah. Put in yeah. an ask for us. Cool. Another show cool. coming up on uh, May 13th with MVP and Marty Janetti. I will I, be a part I of thought, I thought you meant Christofferson for a second. No, I was like, no. That's a show I would see. Yeah, yeah. But you and Marty Janetti, I'm yes. less interested in. Okay. But, but what's that, yeah. May, May 13th? Yes. May 13th yes. in the Bay Area? Yes, yes. I'll be there. All right. I've got surprises in store. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. All right. Uh, head back to Twitter. Let's see if we've got any other questions. Uh, will game over Greggy turn on the fog machine? Question from Ty Burns. Please, Again, know. we hope not. We sincerely but, hope but, not. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, if a company paid him enough money to turn on a branded fog machine to, like, you know, represent Final Fantasy 15 or something, If he Sony would do put it. out a fog machine. He would do it, yeah. If it's the right amount of money, Greg Miller will do it. Absolutely. Uh, Boots underscore 33 uh, asked on Twitter, are there any plans to unveil a new PAX wrestling title strap in the near future? That's, why are you looking at me? That's, that's a you. good. That's a good question. It's, it's a good. I question. mean, Samantha, Samantha brought it up. I've been trying not to talk about it because it is a sore subject with all of us. Uh, her championship belt is missing. Yeah. Uh, it, we think it, without a crown. It might be in Seattle. It might be in San Francisco. It might be on the road between those two cities. Uh, we don't know. We're hoping that it'll show up on Sunday. The responsible thing to do would be to replace that at some point. I mean, you know what? Within a year, I'd say yeah. Yeah. Um, Within a year of losing it. Responsibility has never been a cornerstone yeah. of, of our federation. Right. 
Uh, another question from uh, from Boots underscore thirty three. Why aren't Jen and Trin in the tag tournament? Um, they uh, they did have a showing at a, at a, a, um, at Southern Slam as yeah. we mentioned. Um, Southern Slam. Want to take a moment uh, to to call out that it was filmed and hosted on YouTube uh, by our friends Eric and Chelsea uh, of enc3000.com. Uh, they will be filming Paxmania two once again. Um, you can check us out on Twitter if you search for Southern Slam, if you search for Paxmania, if you search for Pax Rumble, you can find all of their archive videos. Uh, they make us look so much better uh, than we actually are. Um, they make us look good. Uh, so if you want a backstory, if you want to catch up on Pax Mania two before Sunday at 10:30 a.m. Um, that's where you should head, um, and also check them out at enc3000.com. Um, that's a plug. Yeah. You see how I did that? You did a good job. Seamless. You're a pro, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, get my practice know, in for Sunday. I should say, Bane Train, Trin Train, uh, the train, they're amazing. You know, I would have loved to have had them in this tournament. Uh, that's not my call. That's not my place. Uh, uh, I would love to have any opportunity to even chat with Trin, you know, in the Bear Cave. Uh, if we could ever make that happen, that would be really cool. Trin, I, I, I hope that we get to see Trin on stage at Paxomania too. I, I mean, like, I'm gonna pull some. You stuff. know what? Number one request right now, Aaron. I'll say that right now. I would love to talk to her in the Bear Cave. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Uh, from Matt Thomas on Twitter, Dumpster Monkey Six. Uh, is his Twitter handle. Okay, I thought that was uh, what he said. He's asked, have the games been tested to make sure they're on the right game mode for this weekend? Uh, that's a relevant question for both Pat and Dan. I, uh, as you started the PAX Rumble last year. Oh, right, the one that I didn't actually get eliminated from because you guys fucked it up, and so Xavier's distraction didn't your, actually matter. Yeah. Your head went into a baby toilet. You <laughs> lost. <laughs> That's I did not get eliminated from the video game. Yeah, that's Pat, all that matters. Pat there. had had set us up in uh, in four player mode. Oh, so I should so not. I, I should not do that anymore. Not right. actually okay. in. Should not do that anymore. Rumble right. mode. Uh, so Dan was eliminated, and then we realized that he was not going to be replaced by the next of thirty participants. So I've been in the Rumble for like seven months now, right? Yeah, this is your yeah your Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That's if, great. If you want to choose to think about it that way, I would. Yes. I would not take that away from yes. you. Um, another question from Dumpster Monkey Six: Did you ever see Pax Wrestling ever getting this big? Uh, <laughs> definitively, no. Um, uh, I'm involved, and as a result, I was pretty confident <laughs> that it would become pretty big. Uh, so, I'll, I'll say this right now, guys: When we were given an hour and a half instead of an hour, that didn't make any sense to me. No. Uh, when we're being live streamed, none of that makes sense to me. No. Uh, the fact that we even did Southern Slam didn't make any sense to me. After the incidents that we won't talk about at, uh, at, at uh, the Rumble, uh, this past Rumble, the fact that we're in the main stage, that doesn't make any sense. Absolutely baffling. And I don't Absolutely know baffling. why it's happening. When I first pitched the panel two and a half years ago, my expectation was that if we were hosting the Royal Rumble in WrestleMania 2000, we were going to have at least 30 people in the room because that's how many people I booked to play the Rumble. Right. Anything beyond that, anything over 30, was gravy. Yeah. And now, we've had over 1,000 people show up to panels at this point. Yeah. We'll get, uh, we're going to break an attendance record this time, we're right? Go, we're in the main theater, 3,000 seats. So again, for the love of God, bring a friend, bring all your family, or don't come at all. Like, we want that room full or empty. Under 100, and I walk you all out myself. Entirely fair. Entirely fair. So, no, I did not see PAX Wrestling not, not even getting this big. I did not see it getting big at all. You know what? I was really surprised when we got to do it again. Yeah. I did not imagine that we would be asked, that we'd have the opportunity to do it. And then God to even do it in, in Seattle, it didn't make any sense to do it again in another place. The fact that we did Southern Slam this year, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's a dream, and uh, legitimately, like, we joke around a lot about this dumb, stupid thing that we get to do, uh, but it really is my favorite thing at PAX, and it's a weird way where, like, I don't know, it's a lot of people's favorite thing. It's not just me. Uh, I don't know why we get to keep doing it, but uh, believe me, <laughs> I'm not saying no. I don't know why we get to keep doing it may yeah. as well be the tagline for yeah. the panel. Uh, I think that's us at time. Uh, we're going to wrap things up here. Um, Dan, any final thoughts? You're, you're going into Paxomania 2 on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. awaiting a response from our commissioner, Greg Miller, waiting to see if he'll accept your challenge for the Loser Leaves Town match. I'm really not worried about it. 
I'm very good at talking people into things, and Greg knows he's walking into a trap if he accepts this. I'll say that to his face. I'll say that on Sunday. He will accept. He's got a hell of an ego. He wants to be in the main event, and uh, I've got some plans for him. I will win in the main event of Pax Mania 2 wow. on Sunday. I can promise wow. you that. Incredibly, incredibly confident. Just declaring himself in the main event. That's uh, As if it's a foregone I can, conclusion. I can That's do that. It's amazing. Wow. Uh, Pat, anything from you? Uh, uh, you've got stuff to plug this weekend. Yes. Well, besides uh, PAX uh, Wrestling, I do want to plug one panel I'm doing, and that is 404ing at Breaking Down the Internet. That's Saturday at 9 p.m. in uh, the uh, Albatross Theater. That's uh, It's an internet show. I've been doing it at PAX for about three years now. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. we got Austin Walker. Uh, we've got Alexa Ray Carrera. We've got uh, Eric Pope. Uh, we're going to talk about awesome stuff from the internet. No bummers, just cool things from the internet. Uh, Twitch.tv slash PAX2, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, I would love it if people came to that because it's at night and that's hard to book people hey, to come to that. Pat, sorry to interrupt. Yes. Uh, quick question from the production crew. Mm -hmm. How does the official ruling body of PAX Wrestling feel about grown men who play with dolls? Oh, wow. Well, so... I, I would I would like to draw a distinction uh, between yes. dolls and action figures. I I, I mean you're because, throwing around this nomenclature. Point, 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 point. Let me, you know what? Let me just kill your microphones and talk that's for a minute. Okay, okay yeah, no, please do. Yeah. Uh, uh, here's we're the gonna throw to you, Dave. Here's the thing. No grown man should play with a fucking doll. That's the thing. Let alone put them up on a rack for everyone to see and display like you're proud of that shit. That is some try hard fucking thirteen year old bullshit, Riker. Some try-hard shit. And I just muted your microphone so no one can hear what you're oh, saying so anyway. I can, wait, no, I can hear myself, so I think it's actually coming through. <laughs> it's so the I power of technology. I think you're pretty bad well, at muting yeah, keep that, talking, Dave Keep Lang. talking, keep talking. Oh, look at that. Now no one can hear you. What are the odds? Hey, I'm Dan Reichert. I'm a big dumbhead. Hey, look at me. Hey. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on. Thanks, Dave. Uh, okay, so I'm back. Uh, yeah, that's Thank great. you, Dave um, I'd like uh, to say Lang that Esquire. Amiibos are not dolls, and uh, I think he should know, as a video game developer and publisher, there's a lot of fun things you can do with them with the uh, compatible titles. You can unlock fun bonuses. Toys to life. It's a, sure. a rich, growing industry. Skylanders. That Disney Infinity. Sure. Yeah. Oh, shout out to John Vignocchi. We wish you could be here, John. Yeah. Sure. I miss him. You know sure. what? The, no. one ex the one exception to the grown men with, with toys you know rule yeah. is the Killer Instinct line of figures by Ultimate Source. Oh, <laughs> uh, weird. Our partners at weird. Ultimate Source. I legitimately uh, thought he was going to say something nice about his friend, uh, Johnny. How about Benaki. Johnny? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Did and not you know expect what? that for a second. Uh, Dave Lang, I respect that. Not even for a second. All right. Thank you again, everyone, for joining us for the Paxmania pre 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 show here in the Palatial Iron Galaxy booth. Uh, thank you again to Dave Lang and Iron Galaxy for hosting us. It has been an absolute delight. You can join us once again uh, Sunday at 10.30 a.m. in the main theater for Paxamania 2 from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Uh, it is a 3,000-person capacity room, so please bring everyone you know. It should be a ridiculous shit show. If you're not here at PAX East, you can watch online, twitch.tv slash PAX. It's going to be an awful time, I promise you. Thank you again, everyone. Thanks so much.